And uh, tonight I'm here with my wonderful brother, Jeffrey Nero Hardy. Hi, world. We're actually going to give you a walk around the Hardy compound. We're going to explain to you how it was in the past and how things are currently now in the present. BCR kind of stands for my house. It's where uh, crazy stuff goes down. And if you've ever been here, you know that happens for sure. Before my house was here, this was actually a huge pond field because this is actually what was here before my house was. And we actually came over here, and my father and I, along with Jeff, uh, he took his, uh, took his machinery, pushed over the pine trees, we sawed them up, we sold the lumber, and we cleared off the, the lot and land that would eventually be my house. Matt used to rake pine straw, and all this used to be pine trees, Matt. So this was money for us. After all that's cleared away, he's got this beautiful house here, and a big ass barn. It's not a barn, it's a dome. Get it right, Jeff, it's a dome. I would rake these and I would fill up. Uh, my dad had a truck that had a, had a frame on it that was uh, six feet high all the way around. Jeff actually worked for Johnny Al, uh, but I had three separate jobs that I did. I hauled pound straw where I would rake that up and sell it, which would take seven or eight hours during the day. I taught myself how to sew. Uh, the other job that I had was actually running a promotion, which was Omega and Any sponsors. I'm a little bit of an entrepreneur, a little bit of a businessman. I've done a little bit of it all. So today in this episode, we're going to take you around and we're going to kind of give you some of our memories. We're going to take a walk uh, for you, the Hardy Show fans. You'll be with us on this walk and tell all these old stories about what we used to do when we were kids. Uh, something I always wanted to do ever since I've built my house here was actually build a building in the back where I could have get-togethers, where I could have a wrestling ring, because it's always been a dream of mine. I want to soon build a gym. Uh, I'd like to have a little weight room, and I'd like to also have a sauna in here as well. But So come on in, guys. So uh, we're here inside the BCR dome. As you can see, here's the uh, wrestling ring. It is the uh, BCR wrestling ring. I might need to try out that ring, man. So we got all kinds of spots to hit, man. This is actually uh, the road that we're walking on right now. It's actually called the Ballfield Road because when uh, we were young children, as you'll see when we get back here, uh, there used to be a ball field back here where we'd actually play baseball. We would practice, we'd have friends over, we'd have baseball games. To this day, I guess we call this thing the Ballfield Road, yeah, sure. and it's still the connection between myself and Jeff's houses uh, the back way. So, yeah, you're about to see it. All right, here we go. So uh, right here, this was the ball field. Actually, where we're standing was probably where home plate was. We actually had a backstop uh, made of check and wire and everything. We had a backstop that was probably like uh, seven or eight feet tall, right? At least. Uh, we had regular size uh, bases and uh, a regular size. We had a, a, an outfield. We didn't have a fence, but we actually had a place where like a line, if you hit a ball so far, it was a home run. Yeah, this is probably, these, these trees have been growing for probably 15 to 20 years. That gives you an idea of how grown up it is. These pine trees, which uh, our dad actually planted. Because I don't I, think he planted them. He actually threw uh, seeds over there. Are you serious? Why, why, why are they not growing on the road? Why are they not growing right over there? Look, why, why would they not be growing there? In many ways, these pine trees are like uh, Jeff and I to him. They're, they are his children, and they have grown over time. Next Tuesday is their birthday, so if you guys want to send out money donations, please send them to our P.O. Box. All these trees would love For it. the environment. For the environment, you know. Just put it in the name of Matt Hardy. Thank you very much. The Green World. And they think I'm scared of a snake. Classic uh, Quest of Sod, yeah. I came up here and worked my ass off to like um, put some in my yard. And I was digging and digging, taking sod and sod. Maybe flashbacks on me. Very cool. Do you remember what happened in that Quest for Sod episode where you kind of blew up? Yeah, I blew up. Right, if there's no payoff, there's no inspiration. And I'm I was quitting like, the Hardy Show. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Super Donald Stover. That was the character. Uh, by the way, this is the actual corner. The, our land ends right over here. 20 feet behind me is the end of our lands. Uh, who wants to be on that is the uh, boys camp. They actually have a thousand acres. They're very religious, very Christian, but the plan is, their idea is to get these guys that are out of control in there and then they straighten them out, living off the land, all that. And many of those guys have esca uh, escaped and came knocking on our doors. One has, right? One has, and right away the cops are on their ass. Hey, yo, 
uh, as you can see, we uh, we followed the ball field road all the way around and went from uh, my property, Matt's property, to Jeff's property. And we're here by uh, Lake Legend. Our dad, as a kid, always wanted to have a lake on his property. So uh, after we were fortunate enough to make some money, myself and Jeff actually loaned him the money and went in with him. And uh, he built this, this lake that's behind us, which is about uh, two and a half acres, I think. And I actually got to see them come in because this used to be nothing but trees and a swamp and they came in they just tore shit up. A huge dam here, which the road is the dam and we put a drain in. It's, it's, it's beautiful, man. It's a pond and there's, we stocked it with over 200 fish, brim, uh, catfish. Quack, 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 quack. Also for all you long-term uh, Hardy Show fans, this is where Johnny Voorhees, who is uh, the worst serial killer in the history of serial killers because he never actually killed someone but he always had the intention to for several years. So uh, the worst fight scene that I can remember in the history of the Hardy Show actually happened right here across the dam. Uh, it was myself. Even with the sound effects. And Jeff and uh, uh, somebody yuck I think and maybe chemo. We were all kicking Johnny's ass but Johnny was just such a terrible seller and actor. It was the worst He's so <laughs> fight scene of all time. He, dude, it was he's great. He's so terrified of deep water he can't swim so we was like, man, can you can you go off the, the deck, man? You know, and it's deep. It's probably, you know, 10, 12 feet. Because the finish of the episode was we had to throw him back in the water. That's the only thing that would kill him. Just like Voorhees when he when he drowned. And uh, but he was so scared. He said, I can't do it. I got to do it near the edge. And it was... <laughs> so we had to throw him in the edge where he so was, was only big, like a foot deep. <laughs> and he just he went back. And it was like, yeah, like a foot deep. But it worked out. It worked out. You guys can imagine our dad was tickled to have Lake Legend uh, but once Lake Legend was here he actually for some reason brought this little camper here uh, let me tell you the reason our dad actually put this camper on the land was because when he was in some of his wild and crazy moods you know during the, the warm summer days our dad would park this out here and it was his getaway it's where he would come and uh, mess around with his little wild chicks he actually thought this would be possible for somebody to live in when I saw it I was like are you kidding me yeah I'll take you on a tour this is a Crips episode so we're in the camper right now. Here's the kitchen. As you can see, it's fucking sanitary as hell. If one of your friends stays over, they can lay out here. I could have the sweetest dreams of my life right here. But you ain't seen nothing yet. This is the trip. The bathroom. And the shower. Check this out. How could you? Oh my God, wasp I told you they're fucking, oh my God. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Sorry, the wasp burning out. I was gonna show you the amazing master shower. The toilet's in there, and the shower's right there, like spraying down the toilet. How are you supposed to clean yourself in that? This actual trailer was the trailer that was destroyed in a hearty mixture. Apparently, Osama bin Laden was in it, so we blew it up. <laughs> yeah. This is where we filmed the actual, very famous The Usher episode, which was, uh, I know, a lot of people's favorite. Matt, Jeff, and Shannon died, and uh, it's when Marty and Johnny and uh, Yuck took over the show. Ever since then, it's been a couple years ago, my grave, uh, my tombstone is still standing. Yeah. Shannon's is gone, Jeff's had fallen. There's a sweet sign in this, and see us almost faded off? Because you can't kill me, man. right here at my extremely um, new home I'm so satisfied with and we we're able to use the same well from uh, that our house that we lost when I lost everything and as you can see I've done some landscaping out here it's looking good I get to get the weeds under control man but like you guys will see in the future and um, itchweed I might call itchweed to come hook me up I've never seen many white houses around here like with brick it's different and you know I'm a different guy very out we're so satisfied we couldn't be any happier seen the remain home is where the heart is the remains of like what we lost we lost so much so my plan is though to get everything out of that uh, you know storage trailer down there to where we can just maybe push it all back into that big hole back there and ultimately up here either a maybe the new volcano up here just as in memory of the home because originally it's gonna be the jack and we'll catch the jack out there but like this is where Jack died for some closure you know that was a bad time in my life and now it's a new time I was yeah. the first one to see. I, I, saw, I saw the most terrifying yeah. sight you could ever see with two eyes. It was. Yep. I mean, I, I didn't know if you were in there. I, it was. It was horrifying. Yeah. I care so much about you, each and every one of you guys that tune into the Hardy Show, and to give back. You know that we really do care, and that's why we're going to share this with you, our fans, because as we've said many times, without you, we we wouldn't be who we are. So that's why we do this. All right, we're going to check out the dog lot. 